big thing about writing is that you should cut, cut, cut. Just cut it. Make it shorter. Don't bore the shit out of everybody. Get out the boring, dumb, stupid, irrelevant parts and get to the goddamn point. The point is today is May 18th, and May 18th is a day worthy of celebration. We have over and over again shown the prowess of our scientific and political skills. We had freedom fighters who were killing the Mongolian imperialist bastards in China in 1388. We also had, just over 200 years ago, freedom fighters were killing the Spanish imperialist royalists in Uruguay in 1811 igniting Uruguay's independence movement. We wouldn't have a Uruguay today if we didn't have the Battle of Las Piedras. The Battle of Las Piedras is an actual national holiday being celebrated today in Uruguay, May 18th, because of what happened in 1811. So you have a lot of things. May 18th, 1897, Herbert Henry Dow, he finds the Dow Chemical Company in Midland, Michigan. Dow Kipple, that's like a pretty big company. They make money. Are they help? Are they good? I don't know. But he changed the game, you know, for business, right? Money, business, politics, I don't know. It seems pretty important. 1897, Herbert Henry Dow founds Dow Chemical today. World's AIDS Vaccine Day. We need to find one. They're saying it, making it sound like it's a celebration. No, world's AIDS vaccine. We need to focus on AIDS and get a damn vaccine. Trying to get out of the coronavirus thing, going to take a vaccine. Uh, we've been waiting for a vaccine with AIDS for the last 40 years. For 40 years we haven't found a vaccine. We've got cancer. There's a lot of shit that's out there that we don't know why it does what it does, and we can't solve the damn thing. But I think it is a good idea to focus on uh, the vaccine. We're supposed to be Americans. We're supposed to be innovative. We, how come we haven't found the cure yet? May 18th, 1946, Gerd Lenguth, a German political scientist, University of Bonn, is born. He wrote the biographies of Angela Merkel and Horst Kohler. May 18th, 1933, FDR signs an act creating the TVA to build dams. So FDR made the Tennessee Valley Authority, creating building dams, making jobs, creating jobs, part of the New Deal, May 18th, 1933. 1933 would be when unemployment goes to 25%. 1933 is the worst part of the Great Depression. Four years after the stock market crashes, we're seeing 25% unemployment rate just a couple months after the stock market had already crashed. Three times. May 18th, 1994, Israel withdraws from the Gaza Strip. This is 1994. Bill Clinton, Israeli troops withdraw from the Gaza Strip. They ceded the area to the Palestinian National Authority to govern. So Israel is showing mercy. Israel is withdrawing out of territory that's not theirs. Incredible. And what about, you know, Gaza and then you got the West Bank. Are they still, I don't know, 94, though, they're getting the... Fuck out of Dodge, you're getting the hell out of the Gaza Strip. May 18th, 1860, you're going to see Abraham Lincoln. And it was May 18th, three-day convention. And eventually, three rounds of voting is going to happen on the third day. Abraham Lincoln loses the first round of voting. He's a dark horse candidate. William Seward had beat him. So at the Chicago Republican Convention, Abraham Lincoln marches his skinny ass on up there with his top hat and his beard, and he wins the GOP nomination after three rounds of voting. So it wasn't you walked in and everybody knew, and it's just a charade and just a orchestrated, you know, shit, the dog and pony shit show. But it was actual voting and democracy. You didn't know who the Republicans were going to pick until, unless you were at the convention, you did not know who the nominee was going to be. So William Seward was winning uh, round one. Then Abe and Seward were near tie round two, and then Abe comes from out of nowhere to win round three. Abraham Lincoln was a dark horse candidate. So if you think about the Democratic National Convention, is it possible that Joe doesn't become and Bernie does or maybe some other person? Out yeah, that's possible. Anything could happen with these damn conventions. May 18th, 1910, Danish, uh, Danish economist Esther Bozerup is born, known for a theory of agricultural intensification, a.k.a. Bozerup's theory. She posited that the population change drives the intensity of agricultural production. So more population, more agricultural production. The Conditions of Agricultural Growth is a book she wrote. 
and she also believes that necessity is the mother of invention. May 18, 1998, you're going to have an antitrust lawsuit against Microsoft, U.S. v. Microsoft. The U.S. Department of Justice and 20 American states filed an antitrust case against the monopoly that was known as Microsoft. So they busted Microsoft up. They're still a pretty strong, big company today. But the biggest thing I remember is Netscape and Internet Explorer. They had their web browser, but there was other web browsers that so they were monopolizing the web browser market because Microsoft, everybody had Microsoft as their operating system back in 1998, May 18th, when this lawsuit came up. May 18th, 1499, Alonso de Ojeda. Not like Richard Ojeda, but I guess that West Virginia actually has a Spanish name. Alonso de Ojeda set sail from Cadiz, Spain on his voyage to what is now Venezuela. Alonso de Ojeda, this May 18th, 1499, right? 1492, around Columbus and shit. Ojeda is a Spanish explorer. He went through Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana, Caraco, Aruba, Colombia, Lake Maracaibo, and Santa Cruz, La Garita. So, Alonso de Ojeda, he navigated with Americo Vespucci. I don't know. I was thinking maybe I could like these explorers better if they weren't, you know, murdering a bunch of natives around me. I'm not for sure. Maybe, maybe this is good. It's good to go exploring and find new shit. Not good to murder and enslave uh, people against their will, especially when they were nice to you. You should have protected that. Why, why would you? They were kind to you, and you exterminated. You stole everything that they have, and now nobody has anything. Dracula, written by Bram Stoker, is published by Archibald Constable and Company in London, May 18, 1897. Biochemist Nobel Prize laureate Vincent Du Vignoud, Vignoud, Vincent Du Vignoud, born in Chicago, Illinois, won the 1995 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work on biochemically important sulfur compounds, especially for the first synthesis of a polypeptide hormone, a reference to his work on the cyclic peptide oxytocin. He was born May 18, 1901, Vincent du Vignayud. He wrote a book titled The Trail of Research in Sulfur Chemistry and Metabolism in Related Field Isolation and Synthesis of Two Hormones, Vasopressin, Oxytocin. They're both producing the pituitary gland. That's what all, he just wanted to get into that damn pituitary gland. Vincent Du Vignouet, just get in that damn pituitary gland, get that oxytocin, that vasopressin. So he could get the vasopressin on his oxytocin. You know how Vincent do. I mean, May 18th, 1901, it was a different time back then. 2006, May 18th, Nepal, the country of Nepal, they become a secular nation. They said, fuck the goddamn religion. We're just going to have, we're going to do it like America, right? You can do whatever religion you want, but the government is not going to participate, not going to endorse, not going to establish any kind of religion whatsoever, goddamn ever. It happened May 18th. The post lock Tantra and Dolan government passed a landmark bill curtailing the power of the monarchy, making Nepal a secular country. Fantastic. Fantastic. A landmark bill curtailing the power that why they got why does anybody got kings and queens? Hereditary? Oh, they were born into the right family? That makes them superior? That makes them to where they're gonna head over us? Jesus Christ. Why did anybody accept this shit? And now that it's 500 years, it's like, well, shit, we've been doing it for... No, no, you still don't accept it. 1974, India becomes the sixth nation with a working nuke. May 18th, that was 1974, May 18th, 1850. Oliver Heaviside, he's an electrical engineer, mathematician, physicist. He's born Oliver Heaviside, thought differently than James Clerk Maxwell. He thought differently, and he was born. So, okay, May 18th, 1291, after 100 years of control, Acre, a city-state, a nation-state, an area called Acre, falls, it collapses, because they were conquered by the Mamluks. So, the crusader presence in the Holy Land is going to be, there's not going to be any effective crusade to be raised to recapture the Holy Land afterwards. The Mamluks decisively defeated the crusaders, May 18th, 1291. Acre is going to fall, and specifically, no further crusade is going to happen, specifically in the Levant. In the Levant. 
1991, May 18th, the USSR launches two cosmonauts to the MIR space station. Mir, I think it's Mir that's theirs, right? And that's one of the last USSR space missions before the USSR dissolved in 1991. But that happened May 18th, 19, they're still sending cosmonauts, you know, off to study space. USSR, why did they, it didn't seem like it was inevitable, it didn't seem like they had to collapse. May 18th, 1969, Apollo 10 is launched. You got Apollo 10, 1969, Kennedy Space Center. Apollo 10, one year before Apollo 11 is when man walked on the moon, so this would be the one flight before man walks on the moon. What can we learn? What can we get? You're going to get a transmission of the first color photos of Earth from space. Oh, that's the big ball that we live on. That's the plate. That's the flat plate we live on. And then circled the moon 21 times. That's all that they did, right? They were, they were there for eight days. Apollo 10 goes out for eight days, three minutes, 23 seconds, and just went around the moon 31 times and then came back, took a picture of Earth. So, you know, I guess that was good. They took a picture of Earth. Circled the moon tw 31 times to let it know, look, we could keep on just round and around. There's Big Ben, Parliament, Big Ben, Parliament, just keep going round and around and around. So just... 31 times, hey, you want to go to the moon, circle up 31 times and get the fuck out of Dodge, yes, let's do it and spend billions of dollars. May 18th, 1969, Apollo 10, that's what happened, it was launched, Kennedy Space Center, Kennedy Space Center, it's launched, Apollo 10 is being, you know, thrusted off, blown up, uh, exploded off into space, one flight before Apollo 11 before America makes notorious history, before the notoriety of American space uh, dominance, before man reaches, that's one small step for man, but one giant leap for mankind, fantastic, I'm glad he prepared that line, on videotape, jumped out, oh my god, small step for man, giant leap for mankind, you're fucking right, that's some badass English, great fucking line, that that line will be remembered, uh, remembered forever and ever. He probably somebody gave it to me. He's like, oh man, I gotta say that. He probably didn't come up with himself. Neil Neil Armstrong. Anyways, ten thirty seven in the a.m. Monday, May eighteenth, twenty twenty, Southern Colorado. John Masters, peace, peace out. Well, May eighteenth, May today's the eighteenth of May, May eighteenth. 18th of May, India became the sixth nation with working nuke today, 1974.